I told uh, General Krulak my experience as a a lieutenant, uh, only of two African American lieutenants in the battalion, third battalion, second Marines, and we were getting our first fitness report. And I went in to see the battalion commander. It was like the um, vanish insurrection. You know, you sit front in front of a desk, and these fitness reports were handwritten. You didn't get a copy, and you know, yeah. They have you read it and they talk to you about it. And I remember going in to see uh, Richard Raines, who was my battalion commander. And he says, you know, uh, well, I, I I was one of the ones, you know, I didn't believe that uh, blacks could make good officers. I know they made damn good staff in CO, I had a few, but I didn't think they could make good officers. And uh, he said, but we'll talk more about that later. And he gave me my report. My hands were shaking because I don't know whether not to be pissed or insulted here, you know, yeah. as he's handing this to as he's handing this to me. But then I, you know, I, I read it. I remember my hands shaking because I was trying to hold the paper so I wouldn't let him see how emotionally charged I was. Sure. And the first, in the first line, read, "My number one lieutenant of nineteen, the best one of the best lieutenants I've seen in my twenty-seven years in the Marine Corps." And I looked up at him because, you know, I'm shocked after hearing what he said and reading the paperwork. And he says, but you changed that. You showed me what you can do and color doesn't matter. And I want you to get out there and take care of my Marines. 